Imagine an engine so powerful it powered tanks in World War II, buses in America's golden era, and boats that roared across the Great Lakes. Now imagine it vanishing, just poof, gone. So, what happened to Detroit's legendary two-stroke diesel engines? Why did a technology once hailed as unstoppable suddenly stall out? Buckle up, because what killed these mechanical beasts isn't what you think. Let's rewind to the 1930s. America's cities are growing, war is looming, and industry is exploding. Enter the Detroit diesel two-stroke engine, a revolutionary power plant designed by General Motors. These engines weren't just efficient, they were battle-tested. They ran smoother, revved faster, and packed more punch per pound than their four-stroke counterparts. From the military's M4 Sherman tanks to Greyhound buses and even fishing trawlers, the two-stroke diesel was everywhere. And for good reason. It had fewer moving parts, started reliably in cold weather, and could run on just about anything. Farmers, truckers, mechanics, everyone swore by its distinctive growl. If engines had personalities, this one was a blue-collar workhorse with a lunch pail and a no-nonsense attitude. But... Here's where it starts to shift. Quick question. If these engines were so great, why aren't we using them in today's trucks, buses, or generators? Did aliens abduct the blueprints? Did Detroit lose them in a poker game? Nope. The truth is a mix of innovation, regulation, and a few harsh realities. By the 1970s, the world was changing. Environmental awareness was on the rise. The Clean Air Act had just been passed. Suddenly, it wasn't enough for engines to be strong. They had to be clean. And here's the Achilles heel of the two-stroke diesel. Emissions. Two strokes. By design. Burn oil with fuel. That iconic blue smoke. Yeah, turns out it's not so iconic when it's filling urban skies. They struggled to meet tightening EPA standards, especially in terms of nitrogen oxides and particulate matter. Detroit Diesel tried to keep up adding turbochargers, tweaking fuel delivery, introducing new series like the 92s and 60s, but the clock was ticking. Meanwhile, four-stroke engines were evolving fast. They burned cleaner, met emission standards more easily, and with new tech like electronic fuel injection, they began catching up in power and reliability. But there was another factor, one no one saw coming. It wasn't just about performance. It was about something more something that would make or break the future of diesel itself. Behind closed doors, economics began to steer the ship. Maintaining two-stroke diesels required specialized knowledge. As older mechanics retired, younger ones weren't trained on them. Fleets wanted standardized parts, easy servicing, and lower long-term costs. And then there was globalization. European and Japanese manufacturers flooded the U.S. market with engines that met emissions rules, sipped fuel, and came with support networks. Detroit's two-strokes, once seen as a symbol of rugged Americana, started to look like outdated relics. Eventually, even Detroit Diesel's own engineers shifted focus. In 1993, the Series 60, a four-stroke engine, was launched, and that was the beginning of the end. But here's the kicker. It wasn't a failure of engineering, it was a triumph of evolution. The legendary two-strokes had done their job. They'd carried America through war, peace, boom, and bust. But when the world changed, the engines stayed the same. And now, they're a collector's dream, a gearhead's obsession, and, let's be honest, a sound that gives diesel fans goosebumps. You can still find them roaring in old buses or sitting proudly in restoration garages, their legacy echoing in every cylinder. So next time you hear one fire up, remember, it's not just an engine. It's a piece of American history on wheels. But could they make a comeback? In an era of synthetic fuels, retro tech, and EV backlash, is there a world where the two-stroke diesel rises again? Hit that subscribe button if you're curious, because in our next video, we'll explore exactly that. Stay tuned.